Bye guys, see you in one minute. We're going to start with the class. Just, uh. Me escuchan. Yes, buenas noches, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. We're going to call attendance right now. Vamos a pasar asistencia en estos momentos. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente, presente. Thank you. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz del Carmen Cepeda Soto. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Daniela María. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, Ticho. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Aide de la Paz. Jair Adonis Martín Molina. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Gracias. Okay, gracias. Juana Cristela Eusela García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra, gracias, Miriam. Eh, Sandra Maricela Cepedas Alfaro. Present. Santos Alberto Chica Suárez. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Okay, ya tenemos la lista acá. Right. Ahí. Hola, niña Aide. <laughs> Let me call here the attendance for Aide. One moment. Okay, perfect. Mm. Okay, so now. We're going to go here. Let me show you here. Well, today in this. <laughs> One second.
Today we're gonna do review of unit two and practice, which means that we're going to practice a little bit of what we have seen in unit one and unit two. Okay, that's what we're doing today. We're going to do a lot of practice like we did yesterday, but that today is going to be like a mix of everything. Vamos a hacer un poquito de todo, right? Eh, para hacer la práctica de la unidad dos. Fátima y Maricela y Ana, grupo de ayer. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Ana. Now we're going to start with our first activity, right? And the first activity, yes, we're going to create the dialogue, the conversation, right? And we're gonna have only five to 10 minutes to do that. And then we come back to practice because we have a lot of practice to do today. Okay, tenemos bastante practice que hacer con relación a la unidad dos, right? So we're gonna start with the conversation. The first one, Anna, uh, let me see, we're gonna make six groups, right? Anna says that she was with Fatima, Maricela, y Anna. Vamos a ver, primer grupo, Fatima, Joana, Anna, y Maricela. Muy bien. Gerardo, ¿quién está con usted? Who was with you? Uh, with me is Leonel. Leonel, no está Leonel. Solo Leonel estaba. I think so, uh, Teresa. I, know, I don't remember. Teresa, usted estaba con Gerardo ayer, ¿no, verdad? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Gerardo y okay. Teresa. Muy bien. En el grupo tres, Brenda, ¿con quién estaba usted? Who was with your group? Con oh, Naide. Con Aide, permítame, quiero ver que alguien ha mandado daily routines. Con Aide, Aide y Brenda, ok. Very good. Jonathan Alexis, ¿con quién estaba usted? Hola, hola, Miss. Estaba con Juana Cristela. Juana Cristela, no está Juana Cristela aún. Y veamos, eh, vamos a hacer su, su grupo, pero todavía no está Juana. Karen Janet, okay. who was with you? With Daniela. With Daniela. Daniela is not here. Los botones no están. Marina, ¿con quién estaba usted? Eh, con Verónica. No está la niña Verónica. Le voy a poner aquí a Miriam a la par suya, ¿ok? Para que trabajen, para que le muestre lo que están haciendo. Juana Cristela va a estar con Jonathan. Ya la voy a agregar a Juana. Todos nos vamos a ir y ya voy a agregar a Daniela también en los grupos, ¿ok? Porque se acaban de unir, entonces no me aparecen. Vamos, let's go. Let's go. Daniela, usted estaba con, con Karen, ¿verdad? Sí, con Karen. Con la niña Karen. Ok, permítame. Karen está en el grupo 5. Y Cristela, usted estaba con Jonathan, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, okay. con Jonathan. Perfecto, vámonos entonces. Right. Everyone has a group right now. Let us go, let's go to practice. Ahí de, Fátima. Pueden darle clic a su equipo, por favor. Fátima, Joana.
Fátima. ¿Por qué? Si no, no, no va a salir. Hi, Miss. We're missing you, Fátima. We're waiting for her. We don't ¿Qué know. ¿Qué están ustedes? Porque no me contesta. Está ahí, pero no me contesta. Okay, okay. Uh, yesterday we finished the dialogue, and uh, Fatima will be mommy, and Maricela will be Diego. So we're going to change. I will be Diego, and you always be mommy. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start to read. <laughs> Okay, mommy, I have to do. Did you finish? Mm -hmm. Ya terminaron. Sí, nosotros creo que ayer la terminamos. Solo estamos verificando el final, que, pero creo que Leonel no está acá. Uh -uh. No ha venido todavía. Ah, ajá, porque... Bueno, pero yo puedo leer la parte de Leonel, ¿verdad? Yes. O si lo tiene escrito ahí, alguien más puede compartir la conversación y que alguien más lo haga también. Yo también les puedo ayudar. Uh -huh. Eh, teacher, ¿verdad que eh, para, para decir ha sido un gusto? It was a pleasure. Ha sido un gusto. Talk to it, you. It has been a pleasure. It has been. A it has been a pleasure. Talk to you. Talking to you. Talking to you. Talking to you. Talk. It was, it has been a, no, it, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Ahí está en el, en el chat. Mm, vaya. It has been a pleasure. Has been es el ha sido, ¿verdad? En el, mm. bueno, ese es un. It has Ahí, been a pleasure. Esa es la interpretación más cercana que se le puede dar al español. Así. It has been a pleasure talking to you. Talking to you. Bye. A eso lo voy a agregar en lugar de ese que le puso Leonel, porque no, no, lo, no lo siento muy correcto. Decir, was nice, guys. It was nice, guys. Sí, it was nice. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Es mejor, it, it has been a pleasure talking to you, ¿verdad? Porque es más formal. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ah, pues esto voy a entrar desde mi compu al, 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 a la llamada solo para mandar el, el cuadro, dicho. Ok. Sí. Marina, tal vez solamente ustedes ya habían terminado la conversación, ¿verdad? Con Vero sí, más o menos, la habíamos terminado y ahorita le estaba contando a... Um... ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Se me olvidó Miriam. el nombre? A Miriam, sí. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Tal vez viene Verónica y si no, si ya la habían terminado, Miriam puede hacer la parte de Verónica para mí. Sí, 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 sí. Uh -huh. Ya más o menos estamos ahorita okay. con, 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 con Miriam. Excelente. Sí, no más o menos. Sí. Vaya, Miriam, entonces. In... La gatita. Sí. Brenda. Do you need to prepare breakfast? Uh, in the morning? Yes, all day I have to prepare my breakfast at 6 a.m. And uh, I did, do you need drink coffee in the morning? 
I rarely drink coffee. I usually like coffee when I have sweet breath. Okay, I do. Well, I don't like sweet bread. I prefer only coffee. Your company gives you the your coffee? You're the coffee? Uh, yes, but I don't like, I prefer make my coffee. Okay, that's right. Okay. Thank pues you. sí, esterilizan gatitos ahí. Sí. <laughs> sí, esterilizan <laughs> gatitos. Pues eso es caro. De por Depende. El otro mes vamos a tener descuento. <laughs> De verdad. Sí. Es que mi hijo quiere adoptar un gato. Ay, Jesús. Y si, si, si le sale gata, si le Igual. sale gata, pobrecita, porque es como quitarle su naturaleza, pero realmente no, no, no se puede llenar de gato. Sí. Exactly. sí y yo sí. prefiero, ay, teacher. <risa> <risa> y yo, yo prefiero los gatos que los chuchos, porque es que los gatitos son más independientes, los chuchitos bien, aunque son más caseros, va, pero... Sí, ahí ninguno de los dos me gusta, pero mi hijo quiere un gato, un, un animal, entonces. Un gato. ¿no? Está bien. Perrito no mira. ¿Dio? Yo no tengo, antes tenía, pero ya no. ¿Qué tenía, gato? No, perro. No, soy alérgica a los gatos. No, yo soy, nosotros somos alérgicos a todos los animales con él, pues, pero... Ay. A ver, como no tiene hermanos, entonces le doy un gato. Mejor. Ay, pobrecito. Ay, pobrecito. Ay, un chuchito, pero chiquitillo, así de esos que no crecen, me gustaría, pero no chihuahua, pero muy chillones, ¿eh? son muy gritones. ¿eh? Sí, son bien bravos. Son la onda los chihuahuas. De verdad. Sí. Pero yo he visto otro chuchito chiquito. ¿no? Sí, hay unos bien bonitos. ¿Sí? 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 Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. We're going to leave in 30 seconds, okay? Okay. So let's, let's go. Okay. Ay, no sé qué hice. No sé qué toqué. <laughs> no, solo dele es retirarse que... del grupo y ya le va a aparecer ahí. No le aparece. Voy en el carro. Y no sé qué le toca en el celular. ¿A dónde le doy en salir? Sí. Le vamos a salir ya y se va a salir usted automáticamente. A ver. Bye. Hello. Is everyone back? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So let's start. We're going to start right now with uh, Aide and Brenda. Aide and Brenda, ready? Yes, teacher. Let's go then. Brenda, do you need to prepare breakfast in the morning? Yes, I do. All day I have to prepare my breakfast at 6 a.m. Um, do you need to drink coffee in the morning? I rarely drink coffee. I usually like coffee when I have sweet breath. Okay, I do. Well, I don't like sweet breath. I prefer only coffee. In your company, your company gives you the coffee? Yes, but I don't like, I prefer make my coffee. Only teacher. Okay, very good. Give them an applause, very good. Thank you. Just a, one question, does your, comp, does your company give you the coffee? No, that's your does your company give you the coffee? Okay, teacher. Uy. Your, does your company give you the coffee? And now let's see Gerardo. 
You were with uh, Teresa, uh, right? Teresa. Okay. I I will start. Uh, hi guys. Uh, I need to know about your work, Teresa. Tell me, what do you do? I have I have to check to check email and to check email every day in the morning and supervise the project. Uh, oh. What do you What do you do at work, Gerardo? Uh, okay, Teresa. The first, I have to check the email every day at night. Uh, later, I answer the the email, but uh, first, I have a, I need to verify uh, the guidelines uh, to provide the troubleshooting to customer. Uh, later, I I receive the calls, and I create re reports to my boss, and all it is. And um, this conversation have two person, but Lionel uh, is not I'm here. here. Okay. Yeah. But has been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> okay, very good. Give them an applause. Very good. Thank you so much. Now let's listen to Anna. Fatima. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so read the dialogue. Yeah, you you're the first. Okay. Um mommy, I have to do my homework. No, you don't have to do it. You did it yesterday. Don't you remember? Oh, I forgot it. Well, I need to go to play with my friends and then take a rest. You're right. You have to go to play with your friends and then have to take a rest. Thank okay, you. Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Right. We have there our question. Very good. Give you an applause. Let's, li let's listen here to Karen. Karen and Daniela. Okay, hurry up. We have to to get ready to leave. Leave? Where are we going? Shopping, do you remember? No. Karen, you forget. Oh, yes. We need to buy a pair of shoes. Where are we going? I have a good idea. Let's go Metro Centro. It's okay. What kind of shoes do you need to? I need two tennis shoes. Finish teacher. <laughs> I need tennis shoes, very good. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Karen. And we're going to listen to Jonathan and Juana. Okay, Juana. Hello. Are you here? Okay, we're going to start. Hello, Cristela. Hello, Alexis. Is there something that you need to do tomorrow? I am going to rest, but I need to send information to the mind. Oh, really? There are some people to do, to make it tomorrow? No. I will send him from my house. Oh, that's too bad. You have to work on your free day. Yes. It is very important 
for a business next week. Oh, great. Okay, Juana, see you. See you later. That's all, Very teacher. good. Very good. Uh, Juana, you just need to say it's very important. It's very important. It's very important. Yeah, important. Important. Yes, important. because when you say import, import significa importación. Ah, it's important. Important. Okay, import significa importación. Si usted quiere decir importante, Debe ser important. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juana. Thank you, Jonathan. I think everyone participated, right? Marina, ready? Yes, we. Okay, Marina and Miriam. Miriam, yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miriam. I need, I need to homework with you for tomorrow. Really, I don't pay attention. Are you are you sure? Yes, I am sure. What do we have to do? Uh, we make the conversation about necessary and obligation. We need to use have to and need to. <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> but I need to go to the bed because I am tired. Yes, I have to the homework tomorrow to at 8 p.m. Yes, bye. Bye. Only teacher. Very good. That was a good conversation. Very good. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, Miriam. Just you need to say, I need to do the homework. Marina? After I need, I need to do, uh, I need to do homework. Okay. The homework. Ahora, yeah. siempre que tiene need to, después de need to, va a ir un verbo. Porque esa okay. es la acción que usted necesita realizar. Mm -hmm. Need to más un verbo. Porque después dijo, I need go to bed. I need to go to bed. I okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys, for your conversations. Now let's continue here with the class, right? Let me show you. Okay, we have this. We go with the next activity, right? In this activity, look at these two questions. Think about the answers. It says, do you mark your events in your calendar? Why? Do you attend every event? Okay, those are two questions that we have. Do you mark, you know, mark like this? They have marked some events. Do you attend every event? Right? Now we need to look at the you need we need to look at our calendars and check, right, if we have some events that we can, you know, check every day every week. For example, right, there are some events that I mark, right, on my, on my calendars, right? There are some events that I need to mark. Let me show you my calendar here, right? This is an example. On my calendar, right, I have marked some events for October. You see, right? Some events that are actually things that I need to remember, right? If I don't remember them, then I will forget. So I mark the events. So I always mark the events in my calendar. What about you, Marina? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Uh, sometimes, teacher. Sometimes, why? Uh, for events, the office or um, only. Uh -huh. only for events in the office yes okay very good not other events okay that's perfect that's perfect and 
What about you, Anna? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Well, just birthdays, a anniversary, or for sure, my my work activities. Your work activities. Yeah, I have a, a calendar and I have the dates and our marker, every activity that I, that I need to do and, and plan and have to plan. And you have to plan. Okay, very well. Very well. Now, tell me why. Why do you do that? Well, birthday because I always... It, it's um since I remember, uh -huh. I always do. In uh -huh. in in for my work because we have a lot of activities, so we have to have visually a calendar to go on the on the activities and don't forget it or como se dice que se me va a escapar alguna yeah you don't forget it you don't miss any you don't miss any yes that's why okay very good what about you uh, Sandra do you attend every event um I my event and the calendar is the birthday, my family and my best friend. And I have the citas, ¿cómo se dice? Appointments. Citas en el doctor con el niño. Appointment. Appointments with the doctor. Appointment with the doctor, uh, the my father, my partner, mm -hmm. and my son. Okay, thank you. Now, one question, Sandra. Do you attend every event? Yes. And the phone? Um, the mark? Every event? Okay, listen to my question. Do you attend every event? Que si atiendo mis... mis que si hago lo, lo que... Que asista uh -huh. a todos los eventos. Sí, sí, lo hago. ¿Cómo le digo? Yes. Yes, I do. Ok, eh, yes, eh. I do. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, I do. Or you can say, yes, I always attend the events. Ok, yes, I always attend the events. I always attend the events. I always attend the event. Very good. Thank you so much, Sandra. Now, Aide, what about you? Do you attend your events? Teacher, uh, I don't attend the event. Why? I prefer, <laughs> I, 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 in the calendar, I uh -huh. prefer um, read the... Um, the activities in my agent in your agenda agenda uh -huh. oh okay very good you need you can mark them in your calendar in your agenda excellent now let's take a look at one conversation and this conversation is on your book We're going to practice you know pronunciation but we also have some questions this is on page 28 page 28, okay? Now on page 28, right? Now we have this activity. We're going to have Susan and Adele, right? Susan and Adele. What do we have? Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? on Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. It's on Friday the 26th. 
Now, can you please help me out? You're going to be Susan, Juana. You're going to be Susan. And let's see, Miri, eh, Miriam, you're going to be Adele. Okay, listen to me. Voy a leer la conversación una vez más. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, now you go please, Juana. Bien. Adele, please check my agenda. When, when is the meeting with the consultant? On uh, Monday, November 22nd. Second? Mm -hmm. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 20, 26th. It's on Friday, the 26th. Friday, repeat. Friday. Excellent, Miriam. Now, Anna, you're gonna be Susan. Gerardo, you're going to be Adele. I'm going to be Susan. You are Susan. Yeah. Uh, ready? Gerardo. Yeah, I am ready. There you go. Yes. I am. <laughs> Adele. <laughs> Check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay, thank you. Very good. Now, one question. Vanessa, when is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? It's... Uh... Mm, on Monday. On Monday? November 22nd. On Monday, November 22nd. Very good. Brenda, do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Brenda, do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Where is Brenda? Brenda Yamilet Estrada Torres? Si pota, no le escuchamos. Salga, se vuelve a entrar. Que así me pasó la clase anterior, nadie me escuchaba. <laughs> Mientras tanto, la señorita Fátima Joana va a contestar. Fátima. No. Ah, ahora sí. Ahora sí ya. Sí, ahora sí ya. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry. Eh, I think eh, Susan eh, don't have a busy agenda. Why? Why not? Because for me, it's only two. It's only two activities. It's only two activities. Okay, very good. Now, Fatima, do you have a busy agenda? Do you have a busy agenda? Yes. Yes, Why? I do. <laughs> and um, uh, to be honest, um, Right now, um, the last, the, this week, um, uh -huh. another company bought the last company. So, uh, Estudio Culinario bought uh, Tartines ADCB. Mm. So, right now, I'm working for Two companies, Tartine and Estudio Culinaria. 
So um, I have to check email every day, um, each, each 15 minutes. I receive calls and I have to make some calls all day. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I that's... Uh-huh. And I have to um, to update the... I forgot that word. What is it's the word that you want to say? The estado de cuenta. Okay. You can say the financial statement. Yes. Financial, financial statement. Financial statement. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Fatima, right? We have there a very good answer. Great job. Now we have this conversation. Now we're going to do something here. I would like to practice, you know, the months of the year. Okay. We know the, we know the days of the week. Right, we have the days of the week very easy. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, right? Those are the days of the week. But today I would like to practice the months of the year, right? Just pronunciation very quick, right? Because we're going to need this. Right, so we have this. The first month of the year that we have, can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. My computer? Yes, okay. teacher. Very good. Yes. So yes. the first one is January, right? Usually in January, we have New Year, right? Usualmente en enero tenemos el año nuevo, right? New Year on January. Right, then we have February. February, it's for Valentine's Day. No, Valentine's Day is in, in El Salvador. It's like the 14th of February, right? Then we have March. In the United States in March, they celebrate St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, El Día de San Patricio. Now it's very famous in San Salvador. Right. When you go to different bars or different restaurants like uh, Benigan's, right, they have this tradition to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Right. Then we have April, March, April. In April, we have Easter. Right. Then we have May. In May, we have Mother's Day. Right. Mother's Day. Then we have June. Usually in June, we have a spring break. It's when we stop the education, but in the United States, right? In Estados Unidos, cuando llegamos a junio, tenemos a spring break, right? That here in El Salvador is something like, uh, like vacaciones agostinas, right? We have a spring break. Then we have July. In July, we have Independence Day. And uh, in the United States, the 4th of July, right? In August, we have a special day that is called National S'mores Day. These are s'mores. Look at this. This is like a, like a dessert. You put this on fire and then you eat them, right? It's like cookies, chocolate, and marshmallows, right? It's National S'mores Day in August. Then we have September. In September is when we start celebrating, right? That we're going to have uh, the new holidays, right? We start with, with here, the fall. Y empezamos con el otoño, fall. Right, you can see the trees, they go from green to orange, right? Then we have in October, we have my favorite, my favorite uh, holiday from the United States for me, well, I, the actually two, right? Halloween, right? In October, we have Halloween. 
And in November, we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is when we eat turkey, right? And we thank everyone or we thank the life for what's given to us, right? And in December, we have Christmas on December the 25th and we have New Year's Eve on December 31st, okay? Now, let's check again pronunciation. Right, January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, August, September, October, November, November, December, okay? That's what we have right now, right? And then, you know, we have four seasons. In El Salvador, we only have like two seasons, winter, right? El invierno, winter, and we have summer, right? But in the United States, we have winter, summer, a spring, and autumn. Autumn or fall. A mí me sale más fácil decir fall, right? Es lo mismo que autumn, el otoño, right? Winter, summer, spring, and autumn, right? These are the four seasons of the US. Now, let's check, let's check right now the pronunciation of the days, uh, of the months of the year. Let's check really quick. We have here, Karen, can you please tell me the pronunciation of these months of the year? January, mm -hmm. February, March. March, very good. Vanessa, can you help me out with this? Yes. April, May, and June. April, May, and June. Okay, very good. Uh, Daniela, can you help me with this? This three, July, Daniela, not there. Jonathan, can you help me with July? Okay, uh, first July, August, and September. August and September, very good. And the last one, three, I did. Pronunciation, please. October, November, and December. Very good. What are the four seasons of the year? What are the four seasons of the year, Gerardo? In the four seasons of the year. Mm -hmm. Let me see in my book. Uh, I don't know, uh, I don't remember, but it's summer, winter, uh -huh. winter, summer. winter, fall, fall, very good, fall. and yeah, um, summer. This one, I don't, don't remember, teacher, who remembers. Uh, winter, summer, fall, and spring. Spring, excellent. Spring, thanks. Spring, Very spring. Good. Right. So we have there, right, the four seasons of the year. Right now, we have the months and the seasons. Are we okay with that? Do we have any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta no. en estos momentos? No, no teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. 
Okay, we're gonna continue. Okay, we have a lot of vocabulary. Right now, estamos viendo el vocabulario para luego con la gramática. Right? Now, we have here the ordinal numbers. Okay? The ordinal numbers, they are a little bit different than the cardinal numbers. In the cardinal numbers, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and blah, blah, blah. Right? But here, right here, with the ordinal numbers, we have something that is a little bit different, right? We have the pronunciation of this. They are going to, uh, we are going to use these numbers to give dates, okay? Para dar fechas, to give dates. Para dar número de lista, right? That's when we are going to use, right, these ordinal numbers. Para eso vamos a utilizar los números ordinales, right? So we have to be very careful. We have number one, it goes to first. No fears, por favor, no es fears, right? Fears es otra cosa, vamos a decir first. Second, third. First, second, third. Fourth, Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, now can you help me out with the pronunciation, Fatima? <clears throat> the first five numbers. Okay, um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the other five numbers, I did. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, excellent, very good. Now, what happens that we have actually, right, with the ordinal numbers, Right, we need to have other numbers, right? For us to use them when we are speaking with the dates, right? How many, how many uh, dates we have in one month? ¿Cuántos días tenemos en un mes? How many days do we have in a first, month? 30 and 31. 30 and 31 days, exactly. We have 30 or 31 days, that's what we have, right? So right now, what we're going to do is that here I am going to show you the numbers, the most common numbers that we're gonna use for ordinal numbers, porque nosotros lo vamos a utilizar para fechas, right? That's when we're going to use them and we need to be very careful with that. So let me show you. Pueden ver la pantalla. No, teacher. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you can see it now. Está trabada en ese momento. Can you see it now? Like big or small? Big or small? What do you say? La miran grande, chiquita, como la miran? Better, this. Better, better, better. better. Okay. Excellent. Now, so we have the ordinal numbers, right? We just saw there on our first screen that we have the first 10 numbers, but we're going to use until here right, to give dates, right? And if you see that you're a little bit repetitive, right, when we have from 11 
to 20th, right? We have 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th, 21st, look at this. No decimos 20th first, sino que al último número le vamos a poner el ordinal. Vamos a decirlo como cardinal más el ordinal. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, right? 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, right? Aquí se me fue una E. Aquí le quité esta E. 29th. Right? 30th. 30th. 10th. 20th. 30th. 31st. And then we continue. 31st, 32nd, 33rd. Sigue lo mismo. Right? Entonces, lo que nos importa es aprendiendo esto. Right? Because this is 40th, 41st, 42nd, 43rd. And Sigue la, la misma repetición, right? Now, can you help me out with pronunciation of this second column of numbers? Eh, Brenda. Okay, eh, 11th, 12th, uh -huh. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19, 20. 20th. 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 Very well. Continue there with the next set of numbers, Teresa. Twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. 26, 27, 28, 29, y es 31st, 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, 90th, 100, 100, 1000, 1 millionth. 1 million. Very good. Guys, you did a great pronunciation right now, right? And we're going to use this. For the date, for example, today, today in the calendar, it says that we are on the 17th, right? Today is September 17th, right? We cannot say today is September 17th, no. Today is September 17th, right? When is Independence Day, Anna? Microphone? September 15th. September 15th. Excellent. Very good. So right now, we are going to give you, I am going to give you, right, one way of saying the dates. Okay? Para decir las fechas, ¿qué vamos a utilizar? Right? Let me show you here. Now, we can see here that we have like a formula, right? We have like a formula that we are going to use to give a special dates, right? Para hablar sobre fechas importantes o días especiales, right? For example, here we have the formula, a special day plus the verb to be plus on plus the month plus the date, right? Cuando digamos la date, va a ser el día, el número del día, right? For example, if you ask me, Sylvia, when is your birthday? My birthday, it's a special day, is for to be on April 2nd. 
When is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on May 10th, right? So I'm going to ask you right now, because we have this formula, right? And we have one question that we are going to use, right? Let me put it here. Right. Hmm, but I don't like it here because it's not with colors. I'm gonna put it in another PowerPoint. Right. I want you to tell me, right? When is do, 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 do. when is the, the Father's Day? When is Father's Day in El Salvador? Now you follow the structure. When is Father's Day in El Salvador? Father's Day. Yes, uh, The Father's Day is July 17th. Okay. Follow the follow the formula. Father's Day. Father's Day is on. Is on. Uh huh. Uh, July. July. 17th. 17th. Okay. July 17th. Very good. July. You no, July. Oh, no, in June. In June. No, in Julio. June. 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 I don't know. June. Okay. June 17th. <laughs> it's June. <Yeah. laughs> I don't remember because I I am not father. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a father. Okay. Sandra. Tell me, Sandra. Yo lo veo que tiene un niño ahí, Sandra, entonces creo que es su hijo, right? Yes, When is teacher. your son's birthday? When is your son's birthday, Sandra? Siga la forma. My son's my, birthday. My son's day is my on... My son's birthday. My son's birthday is... Uh -huh. On July... Is on July fourth. Fourth. July fourth. Okay. It's on July fourth. Very good. It's on July fourth. Tell me here, uh, Karen. Listen to me, Karen. When is? When is? Halloween. What is Halloween, Karen? Halloween. Halloween day. Halloween is on October thirty thirty first. Halloween is on October thirty first. Okay is on October, October 31st, okay, 31st. Very good. right? So we have there, right, different ways or different questions, and this we use the same way to give the dates, right? Utilizamos las mismas formas para dar nuestras fechas importantes, right? So, Let's think about the other options. Piensen en otras fechas importantes, right? Todos piensen en una fecha importante porque se la van a preguntar a otro compañero. Piensen ahorita mientras yo les paso la asistencia. Okay, piensen en una pregunta. Let me call the attendance. Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Brenda Yamilet Estrada. Presente. Daniela María Ramos. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelaria. 
Present, teacher. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Present, teacher. Aire de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Present. Aire Adonis Present. Molina. Presente. Ok, thank you. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Presente, teacher, perdón, presente. Thank you. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miren Arelí Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Ok. So we're going to continue there, right? With our questions, right? ¿Ya tienen su pregunta, ejemplo? No. ¿No? ¿Por qué? Yes, Ana says yes. Ana, choose one person and ask your question. Coja una persona. Ay, le voy a poner aquí, en, el, en la pantalla, de nuevo, para que se recuerden. Vean que soy buena gente. Voy. Ok. Um, vamos a ver. Miriam Luna. Miriam. ¿Cuál es Miriam? Eh, Miriam, when is Christmas Day? When is Christmas Day? Uh -huh. Miriam. Mm. Christmas Day is um, December. It's on December twenty twenty four. <laughs> in El Salvador. <laughs> it's on December twenty fourth in El Salvador. <laughs> Very good, Miriam. Yes. Thank you. Do you have your question, Miriam? Tiene una pregunta usted? No? Miriam, ¿tiene alguna Hola. pregunta usted para alguien? No, le, okay. no le he hecho. Ok, no se preocupe. Vamos a ver. Eh, Brenda. Yes, teacher. Ok, ¿ya tiene su pregunta? Eh, yes. Uh -huh. Is for Aide. Ok, ahí de. Ahí está la cepota. Ok. When, when is your anniversary? Oh. Does my, does my what? Anniversary? Or your husband? With your husband. Mm -hmm. Ah. My anniversary is um, January 20. Oh, okay, very good. Oh. <laughs> it's on January 20th. January 20th. Repeat. 20th. 20th. January 20th. Excellent. Do you have a question, Aide? Mm, yes. Brenda? Okay. okay, Brenda. Bueno, a Brenda. Okay. When is your father's birthday? Okay, my father's birthday is on September 1st. Oh, and a few days I... ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So we have there, uh, Marina, do you have a question? Yes, for okay. Karen. For Karen. Karen, Karen. Okay, Marina. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 
23. 23. Mm. No, 20. <laughs> Third. 21st. 21st. Mm. 20. I... How did that? 21st. 21st. 21st, okay. Very good. Karen, do you have your question? Uh, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Thank you, Marina. Jonathan, Jonathan. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan, when is your mother's birthday? Oh, my mother's birthday is on August 7th. August 7th. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Jonathan, do you have your question? Okay. Um, let me see. My question is for um Euseda. Euseda. Oh. I don't have the the list. Euseda, it is ready. Okay. Hello, Euseda. Hello, When is uh? When is holiday in El Salvador? Oh, there are many oh, holidays. Salvador. Excuse me. Holidays. So, uh, uh, in San Salvador, the most important holiday. ¿Qué me está preguntando? When is in San Salvador the most important holiday? This is my question, sorry. Okay. When is San Salvador's most important holiday? Holiday. Uh -huh. Holiday es día feriado. Día feriado. ¿Cuál es el día feriado en San Salvador? No sé. Es que ella es de La Paz, dice. No sé. Ay. Ah, perdón. Ah, pues en La Paz. Ah, en La Paz, yes. Actually, she knows. Si no lo dice. Uh -huh. No, debe ser. Insertate. Ajá. No. No, tampoco, compañero. Otro día, otro pregunta. <laughs> When is your birthday? <laughs> When is your birthday? Ajá. Tampoco, Leo. No sé. No sé. <laughs> Ajá, tampoco. Responda. Ya la voy a sacar. No, no le creo. <laughs> <laughs> no le escuché. Vamos a ver qué me preguntó. When is your birthday? Ah. My birthday? Is on May 10th. May 10th. Oh, on Mother's Day. Day? Igual que mi esposo. Mira, la serie de la mamá. Ok. <laughs> ok. Gran regalo para la mamá. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Now, Eusada, do you have your question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta para alguien? Tengo una okay. pregunta. ¿Para quién? Para Teresa. Teresa. Teresa, Teresa. Hi. Teresa, when is Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, February 14. Is on February 14. Gracias. It's on February 14th. Okay, it's on February 14th. Okay. Okay. And Teresa, do you have a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Ya, pero ya todos participaron. No importa, bueno, pregúntale Marina. quién se quiere. Marina. ¿A Marina? Marina. Hello. <risa> eh, when is your annual vacation? Oh. Eh, repeat, please. When is your annual vacation? When is your annual vacation? Yes. Animal, no entiendo. Teacher. Annual vacation. Ah, este. In my case, eh, 
in three periods, um, I my vacation. But my favorite is in December. No, no, sorry. Okay, your vacation is in December. Okay, very good. Yes. Now we have there right the date. When we are going to say, for example, like uh, like Marina, you said thank you, Teresa. When we say, for example, just the month, my vacation is in December. Y no decimos la fecha, solamente vamos a decir in December. La preposición va a cambiar, ¿ok? Ya no vamos a decir on December, vamos a decir in December. Si ustedes le preguntan, por ejemplo, Ana, when is your birthday? Y Ana dice, mm, In September. It's in September. No, no te ofrecho, se lo dijo el mes. Right? Porque dice, it's personal information. No le quiero dar. Right? Entonces, ustedes solamente dicen el mes in December. When is, when is Holy Week in El Salvador? Semana Santa. Holy Week in El Salvador. Oh, Holy Week is in, I think it's in March. Or sometimes in, in April. Hmm? Could be March. March or April. March or April. Right? Now, we have there our practice. ¿Tienen dudas de cómo hacer preguntas con fechas especiales? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. No? Okay. If you look at the book right now, si nos vamos al libro, siempre en la página 28, en la página 28 nos muestran los meses del año, right? Excuse me, one question. For example, if I ask for the anniversary of a company. Uh -huh. the, uh, the question will be, where, when is the company of anniversary? Yep. When is uh, the company's anniversary? It's that, that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the same. Now, we're going to continue here, right? And we're going to practice here. Give me a moment. Like we said, we have different practices here, but in the book, right? Can you see the book right now? In the book, in exercise four, siempre la misma página donde estamos hablando de su salida de, right? We have the months of the year, right? And we have, it is clear. We also says here that we need to practice the calendar. We already practice, right? Saying specific events, specific dates. Right, that we know and we know how to ask for that. Right, if you look at this, right, in the conversation, she asked, When is the meeting with the consultant? That is an event, right? For example, if you ask me, Sylvia, when is the new training? And it's a four. Oh, the new training is in December. Right? We don't have a date yet, but it's in December. So we know how to ask that. Now let's do more practice. Vamos a hacer más prácticas. Recuerden que vamos a practicar la unidad dos, right? And in unit two, we're going to start practicing with this, with the imperatives. We have some imperatives here that we're going to put this in order, right? We have the first one. It says, "Sold, pass me, please, the." We put in order and it says, pass me the salt, please. Pass me the salt, please. Right, so we're going to put the other ones in order. Right, so I want you to please take a screenshot. Tome una captura, por favor. Okay, do you put this already? Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Ahora que ya tenemos la captura, right? Lo vamos a trabajar. We're going to put this, but we are going to do it individually. Vamos a hacer de forma individual. Okay, we're going to do it individually. 
So let's start, please. Let's start. Let's put this in order. Pongámoslo en order, por favor. Let me know when you finish. This is very easy for you. So you're gonna do it very quick. Tell me when you finish. Tell me if you have questions Teacher. Yes. Teacher. What's the meaning in little f? Na, na, nicely, no, sir. Nicely. nicely, nicely, yes, nicely means uh, that you are friendly. Que si estás haciendo algo de una forma amistosa. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. I'm finished, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone else finish? I finished, teacher. Excellent. Finished, teacher. Very good. Finished, teacher. Excellent, that's good. Los demás, como vamos? Teresa, Sandra? Finished. Finished, okay, very good. Now we're gonna check here the answers. Finish. Finish. One question. Yeah. When how do you ask about the decision of a people when 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 someone pass away and you have to know the anniversary of that date? How do you ask? You just ask, in this case, when did your mother, when did your father, when did your brother die? That's the only way. <laughs> when did they die? That's, that's it. Okay, now we are going to check right now the answers, okay? 
We're going to check the answers that we have. Right. So everyone, please pay attention. Right. So we can check. And if you have questions, please let us know. Right. Let me show you here again. We have this. Daniela, what is letter B? Answer the door, please. Answer the door, please. Please. Okay, everyone has the same? Think everyone has, has the same? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Elsada, number, letter C. Don't you for, forget lunch. Don't, okay, repeat, please. Don't you, long, you forget lunch. Don't you forget lunch, okay. I think we're gonna move something here, Miss Euseda, right, to complete the answer, right? Mm -hmm. After don't, Euseda, we are going to have the verb. What is the verb? Your or forget or lunch? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Forget. Forget, okay? So we're gonna say don't forget, forget your lunch. Okay, don't forget your lunch. Very good. Teresa, letter D. In English, speak in please. Okay, now Teresa, let me ask you this. What is the verb, English or speak? I speak. I speak, okay. Remember that in the imperatives, we always start with the verb, okay? So we start with I speak. Esa es la primera palabra. Oh, okay. I speak English in please. Mm. I think so. I speak in English. In English. I speak yeah. in English, please, okay? Very good. Let me just change your answer. Cambia su respuesta. Let's continue there. Please, please, please. Sandra Maricela. Letter E. Please wait for me. Please wait for me. Okay, very good. What is the other option? Wait for me, please. Wait, Wait for, for me, me please. please. Very good. That's another option, right? Wait for me, please. I may pick one sample. Wait for me, please. That's great, right? Continue there, letter F, uh, Marina. Uh, play nice click nice click nicely with, nicely with your sister very good play nicely with your sister very good play nicely with your sister perfect the last one Please, Gerardo. Uh, don't speak with your full mouth. Don't speak with with your full mouth. Full mouth? No. Mouth no, full. Mouth full. Mouth. 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 Full. Mouth full. Very good. Don't speak with your mouth full. Excellent. So we have the answers there. Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Tiene yes, alguna teacher. pregunta? Uh, mm -hmm. What's the meaning full mouth? Mouth. M mouth. Repita. Mouth. Mouth. Mm -hmm. mouth. Mouth is, for example, 
If I eat my coconut right now and I start speaking, I will speak with my mouth full. I have uh, food in my mouth. And sometimes uh, that is I, very gross. I got it. Okay, Thanks. very good. I won't eat my coconut. That will be for later. Okay, <laughs> very good. So we continue there. We don't have questions. We're going to do a speaking practice. Vamos a hacer una práctica de speaking, señoritos y señoritas. Right? Adverse of frequency. Right? Look at this. Beautiful. Now, we're going to practice here in groups. Vamos a ver cuántos sabemos. Sabemos 14. Right? There are 14 people, 13. We're going to group, we're going to work in group of three or four. In these groups, you're going to ask questions using this vocabulary. Okay, we have clean, eat, relax, play football, play soccer, play the piano. Hola. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment, guys. I'm sorry. Now, we have there, right, the vocabulary here right, that we're going to use. We have clean, eat, relax, play. You can say play soccer, play basketball, play tennis, play the piano, play the guitar, play the flute, right? Study. Study English, study math, study engineering, do the grocery, drink wine, listen to music, phone your friends, phone your mom, phone your sister, phone your boyfriend, phone your girlfriend, do the gardening, go on holidays, right? Speak a foreign language, Run, walk, go shopping, swim, think, drive, read something, read a book, read a magazine, read your messages, watch TV, watch Netflix, watch Amazon Prime, watch Disney, uh, Disney Plus, whatever, right? Feed your pet, feed your cat, feed your dog, feed your puppy, eat and need food. Because what kind of food do you eat? What kind of food do you eat? Go to the cinema, drink coffee, dance, go to the gym, cook, write emails, use the internet, drink tea, drink coffee, drink coconut water, right? Whatever, right? And then we have some adverse of frequency. Often, sometimes, seldom, every now and then, never, always, hardly ever, rarely, and usually. El único que es nuevo para ustedes es every now and then. ¿Qué significa every now and then? De vez en cuando. Right? So what are you going to do? When you are in the groups, right? Imagine that I am with Fatima, with Sandra, and with Teresa, right? Estamos en un grupo de cuatro, right? Yo le voy a preguntar a ellas. Ellas me van a preguntar a mí con el vocabulario que tengo en la pizarra, right? So I can ask Fatima. Fatima, how often do you clean your room? Um, I clean, um, each, each weekend. Each weekend. Room. Okay, very good. 
Now, can you use an adverb of frequency? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, mm -hmm. I usually clean my room on Sunday. On Sundays, very good. She's using an adverb of frequency to answer my question, right? Ahora, cuando estemos en los grupos, no vamos a repetir las preguntas. Si yo uso el verbo clean o la actividad clean, ya ni Sandra, ni Teresa, ni Fátima pueden utilizar clean. Y tienen que utilizar otro vocabulario. Por eso tenemos ahí uf, un montón de palabras que podemos utilizar. Right? Pregunten por lo menos dos preguntas right? entre sus compañeros. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Yes, yes. Yes. Ok, ¿ya tomaron Teacher. captura de la, de la pantalla? ¿Sí, Sandra? Speak a forgetting language. What is the meaning? Speak a foreign language. For example, foreign. I speak a foreign language. I speak English. I oh. speak English. I always speak, yeah, I always speak English in my house, right? So a foreign language, foreign significa extranjero. Ah, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Sandra. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas del vocabulario? Para que no vayan a ciegas por allá, por favor. Pregunten sin pena. ¿No? Ok. So, Teacher, let's see. ¿Sí? Do the gardening. Oh, is... do, do the gardening. It's for example, if in your house you have roses, you have okay. flowers, so you do the gardening. You cut okay. them and you make them look beautiful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's go ahead and make the groups. Ya tomaron captura, creo yo, de pantalla. Vamos a hacer los grupos. Vamos a ver acá. Va un grupo de cuatro y los demás grupos van de tres. Pero déjenme hacer un cambio aquí. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's go. Vamos. Only speaking. No van a escribir nada. Solamente van a ir a hablar. Ok. Solamente a practicar. Ten minutes and then we come back. Solo a practicar. Vamos. Jaira Donis, por favor, una a su equipo. Sería ok, Fátima. How so, often do you drink wine? Oh, I usually I usually take two liters of liters of water per day. Okay. Wine. It's no música vino. Uh -huh. Wine and vino. En esos dos litros Wine. de vino, Fátima. Uh -huh. Eso ya es un problema alcohólico. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How often do you drink wine? Ya estuvo, ya I'm dijo so la sorry. verdad. I <laughs> no. Do you like wine? I'm sorry, yeah. I, I talk water. Como que fresquito, plaga. <laughs> Como que están. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I rare, rarely. I but rarely. ¿Cómo se dice primero? Rarely or? I rarely play the score. Ah, uh, I. Okay, yes. I rarely play sports. 
¿Cómo? Eh, le pregunto a Karen, how do you, how often do you eat fish? Uh, mm, I sometimes the weekends. <laughs> okay. Repita. Repita su I, respuesta, Karen. I sometimes. Ahí sería. Okay. I sometimes eat fish the weekend. On the weekends. On the weekends. Sí. Pero no se le olvide siempre decir el verbo. Okay. Porque si, sí, si sí. estamos diciendo solamente I sometimes the weekend, no estamos diciendo absolutamente nada. Okay. okay. El verbo, el verbo. Very good. <laughs> Continúen. Ya no les hago bulla. Solo escucho. <risa> eh, Gerardo. Tell me. How, how often do you study English? How often I study English? Yeah. Oh, eh, I, of, I study English. I always study English in, in the afternoon or in the morning. And, but uh, I think uh, in all days at night, all, every day is at night, I study English. Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a question to Teresa. How often do you room? How often do you? Room. Room. Yeah. Uh, I often, I often room and I have them from in a, from the city. I have them from. I often bring in the Friday and the weekend. And, and, and every day. Every day do, do you room? Yes. Okay. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You are fitness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like room, but I training in my in my in my coach and training in the gimnasio. I don't know how to say, but I have other question to to Karen. Janet. Okay. Okay. Um, Karen, uh, how often do you drink coffee? Ah, I always drink coffee. <laughs> <Always>. <laughs> sí, I, uh, Do you uh, like co coffee? coffee? Drink coffee. You, yeah, drink coffee. Sí, I... Yes, you already told us that you play volleyball. I remember. Okay. Juana Cristela, how often do you watch TV? I always no. I always watch TV. Very good. Um, I de. How often do you listen to music? I usually uh, listen to music. Usually. Good. How kind of music? What kind of music? I listen all kind of music. I walk. Okay. Hi, teacher. 
Hi. Continue. Hi. Um, Bane, how often do you write the emails? Uh, I write the email uh, always, every day. Okay. Um, continue con, with Dale, Daniela. Oh, tú. Vane, it's your turn. Okay. How often do you... Uh, drink te tea, uh, Daniela? Every morning. I drink tea every morning. Okay. <laughs> How often do you... Do you cook, Sandra? I sometimes cook the dinner and the weekend. Every time. <laughs> cook. Okay. Daniela, creo que sí. Okay. How often do you? I, I don't have a pet. I don't have a pet. I don't have pets. Mm. You? Fatima. How often do you? Um, how often? Um, I never, I never feed the, the pet. Oh, that's too bad and for you. My mother, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law do it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And... But it's not your. I'm sorry? But it's not your. The pet is not your. Not exactly. Uh. It's, your, it's your pet or of your mom? <laughs> uh, not exactly. Ah, okay. My my uh, mother in law. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. That's it. And uh, I got a question for for both. Okay. How often do you go to bed? How bed. often do you go to bed? Yeah. Every day. <laughs> but uh, what time? Ah, ah, that's different. Yeah, sorry. I, for example, uh, I, I have so uh, very, very uh, tired, and I, I, I think that is it, a good time to get uh, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I always go to the bed at ten p.m. Ooh, after, after the class. The, after yes, the class. I need sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow is Saturday. But I, I work. <laughs> I work. Me too. Uh, Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> and you, Fatima, no sacó. I know. Okay. Now we're going to listen to some of the questions. Very quickly, do I have some volunteers? Algunas preguntas de las que crearon, veamos. Tengo voluntarios. Yes, okay, I'm going Ana. to. Okay, no. Ana. Eh, to, to... Ahora le puede hacer a cualquiera de aquí, no importa. Ah, bye. Me sale primero Don Gerardo, bye. Okay, okay go ahead. Ethnic food, do you eat? Uh, no, excuse me. Do you eat, how often do you eat ethnic food? Uh, how often I. Do you eat ethnic, ethnic food? Ethnic how food. often do you eat ethnic, ethnic food? Ethnic food. I don't know what is ethnic. Ethnic uh, food is food that is. Uh, traditional or it belongs to a country. For example, uh, if you eat pupusa. nakatamales, 
Ya, pupusas ah, naman siya, no? Okay. If you're not yeah. nakatamal, that's from Ethnic Nicaragua. Food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Choco. I always eat uh, the pupusas. Taquito. Um, Taquito. Empan empanadas. <laughs> maybe uh, any yuca. I don't know how to say. <laughs> yuca con <Yuka>. chicharrón. <laughs> But in the weekend, I always eat. You always eat what? Uh, pupusas. On, on Saturday, mm -hmm. I get up with my family. Always eat pupusas in the planes de rendero. I don't know. In a pizza. No, no. En <laughs> <laughs> <And> busito. <laughs> I go out. Repeat, go out. I go out. out. Go I go out. out. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. you say, if, if you don't say go out, it sounds like you're saying get up. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I go out. Go out. I... Salir. I go out with mm -hmm. my family. Right. Very good. Thank you, Ana. Thank you, Gerardo. Let's see. Someone else with a question? Alguien más con una pregunta? No. Sandra, ajá, ¿a quién va a preguntar, Sandra? Ah, Brenda. A Brenda, ajá, Brenda. Hello, Sandra. Hello. <laughs> how, often, how often do you go to the gym? I always go to the gym. <laughs> oh, my God. Y la idea sí, ve. I love the gym. <laughs> okay, very good. I always go to the gym. I love the gym. Perfect. You complete your answer. Very good. Someone Thank else you. wants to ask? Yes, I did. For you. For How me? often do you eat hamburger? Mm, I eat hamburgers. I seldom eat hamburgers because one day they they me empacharon. <laughs> I got sick. Yeah, I got sick from the hamburgers. So I eat hamburgers if I make the hamburgers. <laughs> but okay. I eat a lot of a lot of little scissors pizza. <laughs> Very good, I did. Thank you for your question. Now we have the, those questions. Do you have a question about the activity? Anything that is not clear? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no les haya quedado claro? Sobre el uso de los adverbios, imperativos. ¿Qué más visto? ¿Qué más hemos visto? Have to, need to. Todavía nos quedaron un par de ejercicios acá, como ustedes pueden ver, que no los pudimos completar, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver si los vamos a ir metiendo, aunque sean en otras unidades. ¿Sí? Teacher, eh, digamos, en la respuesta de Haufen, Siempre tiene que, la respuesta siempre tiene que ser I, eh, I often o I'm sometimes. Puede ser I sometimes, I always, I usually, I Pero sometimes. digamos, así, así tiene que iniciar la respuesta. No puedo decir I eat pupusas always. Tengo, tengo que decir I always eat pupusas. Lo que sucede es que en el, los adverbios de frecuencia su posición gramaticalmente hablando es después del sujeto. Cuando estamos usando el simple present, tenemos el sujeto más el adverbio de frecuencia más el verbo. Uh -huh. Ok, hay algunos adverbios de frecuencia o adverbs of frequency que los podemos poner al inicio, ahí en el medio, como le acabo de decir, o al final, pero no uh -huh. todos suenan igual. Ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, puedo decir, uh, or, si yo digo, Always I eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. Always I eat, no se escucha bien. Entonces, mm -hmm. I always eat always pupusas. Eat o puedo decir, I eat pupusas, I eat pupusas always. always. Entonces, okay. pues, ahí sabemos de que always es mejor utilizarlo en medio o al final. Pero es, usually you're going to use adverbs of frequency in the middle. Ok. El único adverbio de frecuencia que se oye bien del tingo al tango, o sea, en las tres posiciones es sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I eat pupusas on weekends. I sometimes eat pupusas on weekends. I eat pupusas on weekends sometimes. Maybe. Okay. So, maybe. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you for you. your question, Vanessa. Now, ahora, antes que se vayan, yo estaba revisando acá el trabajo que han hecho, señoritas y señoritos. Y para la semana 2, le voy a decir los que me deben trabajo. Semana 2, tarea de la semana 2, me debe la señorita Annalisa Valle. También me debe aquí el señor, vamos a ver, el señor Jonathan Alexis González. Y Katia Carolina Parada, Marina Vanessa Vázquez, Miriam Arely Romero, Sandra Maricela Cepeda. Y solamente. Ahora, eso de la semana 2. En la semana 2 que termina hoy, right, ustedes me deben de haber entregado un examen parcial. El examen parcial me lo deben a Analicia Valle. Me lo debe también acá Daniela María Ramos. También me debe el parcial. Veamos. Aide. Aide de la Paz. O sea, Aide ya lo, ya lo hizo, pero no le, no, no creo que no la ha terminado, Aide, porque no, no es la nota. Jaira Dones me debe parcial. Jonathan Alexis me debe parcial. Qué raro, teacher. Yo siento que hice todo eso. Ya lo voy a decir. Si, si gusta, queda unos minutitos después. Carla Susana me debe parcial. Katia Carolina me debe parcial. Marina Vanessa igual. Miren, Arely también no lo ha terminado el parcial. Sandra Maricela no lo ha hecho. Permítanme que está cargando la siguiente página. Y Teresa y Verónica, Teresa ya lo hizo. Verónica me debe el parcial también. Recuérdense acá, les voy a mostrar que creo yo que eso es lo que ha pasado con, eh, con usted. Porque no, se ve que ya lo hizo, pero solo le aparece en la mitad de la nota. ¿Ok? Le voy a mostrar rapidito. Nos quedan un par de minutos. Puede enviar, sí, las puede enviar hasta las, hasta las diez y media. Porque la, la Brenda me pasó el sueño. Yo me dio el sueño. <risa> <risa> ok. Cuando ustedes, cuando ustedes vienen acá, miren chicos. Cuando ustedes vienen acá y miran aquí las unidades 2, el parcial, para los que solamente les aparece nota de 25 o de 50. Por favor, fíjense que la parte 1, cuando ustedes han completado la parte 1, aquí tiene que decirles 25. Pueden ver el, el, el website, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Sí, ok. Yes. Aquí pueden, sí, sí. tienen que ver que diga 25 de 25. Y cuando ya tengan eso, es porque ustedes ya le dieron aquí enviar. Entonces, a mí me aparece submit. Ahorita no me aparece en azul porque no he contestado nada. Le tienen que dar submit y cuando le dan submit, aquí luego se van para arriba y tienen que decir 25 de 25. Tienen que hacer el mismo proceso para las cuatro partes. ¿Okay? Para las cuatro partes. Tal vez a los que les aparece que ya lo tocaron, el parcial, pero no les aparece la nota completa y los mencioné, ya saben ustedes quiénes son. Es porque quizás no, no le dieron clic abajo en enviar. Así que denle clic ahorita en enviar, vayan a su parcial porque se guarda. Denle enviar y me tiene que actualizar aquí la nota. ¿Ok? Lo mismo con las unidad 2. Cada una de las actividades tienen que enviarlas. Y arriba vean si tienen el 25% de todas las actividades. Right? 20, 20, 20. Right? Aquí me dice 0 de 20 porque yo no he hecho nada. Right? Cuando, yo, cuando lo completo usted le aparece. ¿Ok? Ahora, déjeme pasar asistencia rapidito. Ana Valle. Aquí vayan. Brenda Estrada. Presente. Daniela Ramos. Edwin Ordóñez. Fátima Tejada. Presente. Gerardo Colocho. Aide de la Paz. Jair Martir. Presente, Tichu. Jonathan González. Presente, teacher. Ana Cristela. Karen Cruz. Presente. Katia Parada. Carla Mena. Marina Vázquez. Presente. Miriam Romero. Sandra Cepeda. 
Santos uh -huh. Chicas, Teresa Ramos Presente. y Verónica Esmeralda. ¿Sí? Entonces acá vamos a seguir chicos este día. Uy, espérame, vamos a ver de aquí. La opción. Ahí. Todos los que ya pasaron anteriormente se pueden retirar, pero este día le corresponde viernes 17, Jonathan Alexis González Torres, no sé si se va a quedar usted para preguntas y si no le puede dar el espacio a alguien más. No, teacher, me retiro. Thank okay. you. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, si gusta, Aide, vemos su, su, su nota rapidito. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening, guys. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. See you Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Eh, mire ahorita, teacher, porque me salí ahí que había un... Que no lo había enviado, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero mire ahorita porque en la parte 2 no, no me no había enviado uno de los... No era el examen, sino era uno de los... De los, de los ejercicios. Ajá. Vaya, vale, permítame, vamos a verle aquí. Voy a volver a actualizar, lo voy a cerrar y lo voy a actualizar. Ajá. Sí, hasta yo ahorita me quedé asombrada porque no, no me le aparecía. No, sí, Tiene todas esas Sí, déjeme ver acá. Lo vamos a ver juntas, ¿ok? Ahorita, ahí te de la paz. Vaya, mire, todavía me aparece aquí con 75. Ya le voy a enseñar. Yo no sé por qué. Porque yo me he ido uno por uno. Ahorita estoy analizando los exámenes. Vaya, mire, es de ustedes. Hay de la Paz Santos. Y todo está bien, ve. Aquí tiene la unidad 1, tiene, tiene 100. En la unidad 2 tiene 96. En la unidad 3 tiene 100. Unidad 4 tiene 100. Y en, la, en el total de, la, de las tareas tiene 99. Luego en el parcial tiene 75. Ese es el que le falta. Vamos a darle clic aquí al parcial. Y mire, aquí está, ¿ve? De la unidad 2. Todos tienen 20, 20, 20. En la última tiene 16 de 20. Y en el midterm, acá el primer ejercicio. Ese es su primer ejercicio del, del parcial. Porque mire, ahí le parece que ese no lo ha hecho. Tal vez solo le falta enviarlo. Es que no le no comprendo yo qué, qué es lo que... Yo lo que hago son estas cosas. ¿ves? O sea, no, no sé dónde me tengo que ir. Por ejemplo, aquí todos me aparecen, todos me aparecen así en verde el chequecito. Vaya, de le abajo enviar, de le abajo enviar. Pero solo al número uno, porque todos los demás... Puede ver aquí el, mi pantalla. Sí, pero es que, ¿uno de qué? Porque es uno de los exámenes. Vaya, lo que pasa, de, le voy a mostrar. No, no es uno de los exámenes. Le voy a mostrar aquí. Vaya, mire, en su, en, en el curso. Uh -huh. Sección 1. Se, vaya, aquí. aquí, mire, en la sección 1 ya hizo todo, ahí no lo toco. En la sección 2, váyase donde dice midterm. Uh -huh. Bye. En la sección 2, on the midterm, y se va a ir al primer ejercicio. Al que empieza donde dice, my boss emails every day. Ah, ese sí, no, no, sí, ese sí, parece que no está hecho. Bye. hágalo, porque solo se me falta. Bye. Me avisa cuando lo termine y yo actualizo aquí para, para que quede okay. todo ya. Está fácil, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> My coworker. Es que en su nota ya, ya casi está. Su final. En el final ya lo hizo porque tiene 100.
Y hasta a mí me resultó súper extraño. Que, que... Ay, sí, no sé cómo me salté ese, porque yo me fui uno por uno, a ver. Ahí ya estuve es... viendo más adelante que había otro que tampoco estaba hecho. Ajá, por eso le aparecía. Ya en el examen. Ajá, 50 le aparecía en el examen. Ya lo envié, Tiche. Ya lo envió. Vaya, mire, lo voy a actualizar aquí. Vaya, mire. Aquí dice, Micha, 100 de 100. O ya. O ya. Ya, ya, ya aprendí. Sí. Voy a revisar ahorita todo para dejarlo porque así no quiero que me esté diciendo. No, ya está. Ya está todo. Todo, ya no tengo nada <ríe> pendiente. Ya no tiene nada pendiente. Mire, aquí todo sí. quedó. Ya quedó con 100% de nota final. Vaya pues, gracias. Uh -huh. Gracias a usted. Vaya, nos vemos, teacher. Nos vemos. Igualmente, adiós.